Hi, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be exploring how you go about using the nearest points feature. Okay, what we have here is the layout for level. Um, we've been able to find out where the instance boxes are going to go, the actual geometry, and we have a rough idea as to where the pillars are going to go. But we need a, a bit more precision going in, um, and that's why we're going to be using the nearest point feature. Okay, so uh, here we have the base geo that's been able to be uh, ascertained from going through a bit of workflow where we're using VDB and we'll be able to drill down to, to this. What we want to be able to do though is isolate the points uh, that we want to work with. So just to give you an idea of what we've got so far, boom, boom, boom. there we go. So these are the corners uh, that we've been able to limit the selection to and uh, that, that's great but again what would be nice is if we had some means of being able to say that's the corner point that's a specific one that we want and we've tried a few techniques but uh, it's, it's not exactly worked out so far again why we need the nearest point feature um, the source points for the actual floor are going to be on this side. So if I highlight the two of them, what you've got now is you've got the actual points themselves that we want to snap. You can tell there's a gap there. Yeah. Um, so you've got the pink point that make up the corner units themselves, and then you've got the the blue points. Those are um, placed at a similar vector, but they're not they've not been snapped to that location just yet. So how do we actually use this near points? Um, function. As you can tell here, we've got the outline for, or the signature for the function and we're passing in the geometry or the, the, the actual points themselves for the floor layout and that's going to be making up the point zero and we're using point num going in to find that specific point within the iteration for the for each loop and then the actual source points themselves those are coming those are the pink ones those are the actual corner points where we have a series of points and what we're hoping is that by the end of the call those blue points are going to be snapped over and how we're doing that is we're saying if we've achieved the near point by using that specific threshold at the moment we're searching uh, within roughly 0 0.06 units um, and then what we're saying here is if we get a number greater than zero so that means we've actually found a point that is nearest to it, then in that scenario, what we want to do is actually take the position from that point, i.e. the near point, and assign it to this specific point. And what we should end up seeing is that that blue point should move to where the, the pink point was. So um, yeah, not sure how good a readout you're going to see on the camera, I'll just zoom in a bit more. But by when we actually press this here, see? automatically snap to that specific corner point all right so that is the how you actually use the near point feature you do have another means where you can actually say okay fine what I want is all of the near points for which you'd have probably got that group back anyway but what we're actually doing again is we have these points going in on geometry zero as the input so the input here would be one because it's a zero reference and for the zero reference, we're looping through the 63 corner points based on a rough estimation. And that's why we have those two different groups. And by the end, we get through and we have what we're looking for. So thanks for watching uh, and I'll see you guys next time.